It's America's 245th birthday in baseball. Used to celebrate it by owning the 4th of July entertainment with double headers and pennant races. Now MLB is abusing fans by eliminating minor league teams, threatening to move the Oakland A's to Las Vegas, and checking pitchers for foreign substances, which works well in pro wrestling, but not in baseball. Baseball is not front and center in the American sports world anymore. At one time, the 4th of July was baseball, apple pie, swimming, and fireworks. Baseball was Casey at the bat or take me out to the ball game. As Katie Casey told her boyfriend, I want to go to the ball game in the song. There was the babe and the great DiMaggio who was lionized in The Old Man in the Sea, classic book by Hemingway. Bud Abbott and Lou Costello argued over who's on first. Baseball cards had so many uses. Joe DiMaggio would be revisited in song in Paul Simon's classic, Mrs. Robinson. Baseball players were in vaudeville, in movies, and on radio, and in TV. In 1954, the French social commentator Jacques Barzan noted, Whoever wants to know the heart and mind of America had better learn baseball. There was a countdown to spring training and for certain Americans. There was also a countdown to spring and the coming of warm weather and the fall classic and the hot stove league. Opening day was an event and it was the boys of summer. Baseball was omnipresent. Now sports seasons clash. Opening day takes a back seat to the NCAA men's basketball tournament, the Stanley Cup, and the NBA Finals, all competitors, and NFL July training camps. There was always horse racing, summer golf, and tennis tournaments, but baseball until the 1960s was always at the top, followed by boxing and horse racing. The days of baseball being king are done. I'm Evan Weiner. Thank <laughs> you.